Brethren, your faith should not read you into comfort zone. Your faith, if truly you know the days that we are living, if truly you understand the times, your faith should not lead you into comfort. Yes, because when you look at the days, the word of God says that the days are evil. These days that we are living, we are living in the days, the days which are so evil. The wicked is spreading so much. The wickedness of this world should not let, uh, lead us to be into comfort. As a, as a child of God, you need to have faith and your faith should not lead you to be on that comfort. And this is why you see that uh, people are getting back and people are falling. If you have a little kind of faith, your faith should lead you to seek for expert things. Your faith should lead you to, do, to, to go an extra mile of serving the Lord, an extra mile of, uh, of serving the Lord. Uh, when you look at this woman that was called, uh, uh, this woman, actually she was a woman. I don't know the name of that woman. But this woman was deceased with an issue of blood for 12 good years. She was, she was with an issue of blood. The blood would come out every time. So she had that kind of issue. And the word of God says in the book of uh, Matthew 9, in the book of Matthew 9, about this woman, Matthew 9, it says, uh, verse 20 says, And behold, a woman which was deceased with, which was deceased with, uh, with an issue of blood 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. You see, the woman uh, came behind Jesus Christ and she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. What kind of faith is this? If she remained on to have comfort, would she uh, receive the healing? Would she, uh, because the word of God says that, uh, uh, verse 20, verse 21, that for she said within herself, if I may, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Look at that kind of faith. Uh, she believed, she had, she had confidence. She had confidence that if I will touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be whole. I'm going to be well. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be good. You see. So she worked so much to get that, uh, uh, to get on to touch of Jesus Christ. She worked to get uh, uh, touching Jesus, to touch the hem. Actually, it was not even the flesh of Jesus, not the hand, yeah? but the hem of his garment. And she believed that if I'm going to touch this uh, uh, hem of the garment of Jesus Christ, I am totally going to be healed. I'm totally going to if, and if I will not be healed, then I don't know about my faith. I don't know about this faith. So you see that it was a, a, a faith that he had a, 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 a deed. Huh? She did not sit on a comfort and say that let me wait for Jesus Christ to come and, and, and uh, touch me and uh, pray for me. No, she went a step to look for Jesus. She went a step to seek his, uh, 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 his masses. And actually, she went ahead to receive her healing. Huh? So in this life we are living, we need to be in, in confidence. We need to have that kind of confidence. Uh, a confidence of leading us to go an extra mile, to do something, to do some exploit. We cannot do exploits while sitting in comforts. We cannot win souls if we sit in comforts. We cannot grow as the church if we sit on comforts. You personally, you cannot be made whole. You cannot be totally delivered if you sit in comfort. Huh? You sit there in comfort just watching uh, television, just watching movies. You cannot be made whole. You want to be delivered. You cannot be delivered if you are still there on to comfort. You need to go an extra mile, an extra mile of praying, an extra mile of fasting. Huh? Don't wait for we men of God to, to always uh, come on Sunday and pray for you. No, you have time with God. You, this woman never looked for any man of God. Huh? She did not even look uh, to hear the voice of Jesus. No, she only wanted to touch her. Uh, to touch him. she only that was her desire that Lord, if I will touch the, uh, the, 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 the hem of your garment, I'm going to be made whole. 
Uh, that was the, uh, the belief that she had, the faith, the kind of faith that we need, that if I want to be delivered, let me go to an extra mile of praying. Let me go to an extra mile of even having a timetable of prayers. Let me go an extra mile of uh, having a timetable of studying the word of God. Hmm? You shall not be in comfort once you receive Jesus, once you need to do exploit things, once you need to, to, to walk in faith. My brother, my sister, you shall not be in comfort. Yes, many people love and desire to be like the martyrs, to be like uh, the apostles and the prophets who were killed uh, because of the gospel. They want, to, they desire uh, to do those exploits that Petro, that Paul, that uh, Raja and others that performed great and powerful miracles. They want to be like them, but they are still in comfort. How will you do so? How will you, how will you get uh, into that position or into that type of when persecution comes, you will overcome? How will you overcome when affliction comes? How will you overcome them? When the storm comes, how will you overcome? You cannot overcome a storm while in comfort, my brother, my sister. You cannot overcome temptation while in comfort. Yes, you cannot overcome. You cannot overcome sexual immorality when you are in comfort. Uh, this man that was called Joseph, he had to flee. Yeah? He had to flee so that his life uh, will be good. So that he, he cannot sin against God. He did not sit in a comfort. Therefore you too, if you want deliverance, come out of your comfort. You want uh, 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 to do exploits, come out of uh, uh, comfort. You want to serve God, come out of your comfort. Yeah? You need, you need the crown of life, come out of your comfort. There is no way that in comfort you will receive anything from God. In God there is, no, uh, there is no price for being in comfort, but there is price, there is crown, there is price, there is reward, reward for those who have confidence in God and they walk and work in, uh, uh, to see that they have achieved uh, uh, the reward. So my brother, my sister, you want a reward from God? Then come out of your comfort. Come out of your comfort. That is the message. Come out of your comfort. Start being busy. Start reading. Start studying the word of God. Start praying. Start praying. Start uh, studying. Uh, start seeking the Lord Jesus with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Uh, Come out of the world. If you've been to the comfort, then you are in comfort of, to, unto the world. The devil is ready to drag you back into the pressures of the world. The, the devil is ready uh, to show you friends who are antichrist. The devil is ready uh, to show you another direction that does not lead to the kingdom of God, but leads to the hellfire. Therefore, come out of your comfort and let the Lord Jesus Christ help you. Uh, it is only out of comfort that this woman received her life back. And she received her integrity. She received her honor back. So if you want honor, you want riches, you want respect, you want uh, to serve God in truth and in spirit, come out of your comfort. And the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, shalom, shalom.